from the St. Ignatius Chapel at the Manresa Jesuit Spiritual Renewal Center in Pickering, Ontario. The National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I'm Father John Bruteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from Carol Pallison from North Vancouver, British Columbia. This Mass is offered for her deceased husband, Harold Pallison, and other deceased family members. Our thanks to Carol Pallison for making it possible for tens of thousands of faithful across Canada and around the world to share in this celebration that we begin with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather from diff different parts of the world, different ages, different times, let's pause for a moment to recognize that Jesus, who is with us right now, is prepared to forgive us our sins, when we, especially when we ask for his forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter clever a slave of, sla a slave of slaves and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, Grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. As God's chosen ones, Holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you, and if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those for whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good, lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for He is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap, for the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, Jesus, in his beautiful way, tells us, love your enemies. Love your enemies. Now, maybe some of you, like myself, when you think about it, I have no enemies. Not that I know of, so we're off the hook, right? Not quite, not quite. A reality uh, for some is that sometimes we don't even love our own siblings or others, members of our family. Maybe, maybe someone who we think might be close and we just bear with them and put up with them because they're family. Our friends who we expect to hold dear sometimes, well, maybe not as friendly as we could be to them. They're not enemies, but then maybe they're not all that close friends to us. So thus the Lord asks us to do something that's seemingly impossible. Love your enemies. It's, that, it's at such times that the Lord tells us to turn to him for courage and strength. It does take courage and strength. Instead of getting even, but to love our enemies, those who don't see eye to eye with us. You see... It takes strength and it takes a great deal of humility to give and apologize even when you know you're right. Be a little humble and apologize. When Jesus invites us to love others, he doesn't mean to do this alone because sometimes when you do solo, it doesn't work out that well. But to turn to him, 
to for help anytime you need them, especially in making peace with someone. It's not, you see, making peace is not just about you, but it's about building relationship with others. The ideal relationship that Jesus kept on giving to others and continues to give to us. A real life example. Today, as you heard at the beginning of Mass, we remember and pray with Father Peter Clever, a priest of the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuits. He was born in Spain in 1580, and after being ordained a priest, he volunteered to go to South America. He ended up in Colombia, where shiploads of African slaves were being brought to be sold. Father Peter had great pity for the poor people who were sick and crowded together in those ships that brought him to be sold as slaves. In seeing this, he made up his mind to help as many of those slaves as he possibly could. Complete strangers, people he'd never met before, but to him, they were all brothers and sisters in the Lord and in need of help. He provided food, and medicine, taught them about Jesus, and baptized those who accepted the faith. It was difficult, and it was hot, and it was dirty and smelly in those ships. It was not an easy ministry. And as I continue to read from uh, the life of, of St. Peter, at one point a man went with him, but he only went once. He could not bring himself to face the heartbreaking sight again. Father Peter did demonstrate his love for Jesus through his ministry for 40 years. And go figure. Of all these 40 years, he baptized approximately 300,000 people. That's a lot of baptisms. 300,000 people who accepted the faith and were baptized. So why do all of this? The answer is, with great love for Jesus and his suffering brothers and sisters. Father Peter had many challenging times, especially by people who did not appreciate what he was doing and who he was doing it for, people who were to be sold, who were not as important as many people thought because they were slaves, how wrongly so. You see, Father Peter was very, very patient and carried on until he got very sick and was sick for four years. Apparently nobody visited him because for some reason. And on September the 8th in 1654, Father Peter was called home to the Lord. Hundreds of thousands of people attended his funeral. My dear friends in Christ, prejudice against people of various religions, gender, culture, and even within families, as much as it is discouraged in our society, unfortunately still exists today and is a great offense against God. And of course, it creates divisions that hurt our relationship with others, tending to judge before we know the individuals. Or not only within our families does that hurt, but also with others, and most of all, with Jesus Christ, who did not judge. Doesn't judge others, he loves us. Let us then pray to Father Peter Clever to give us the courage to be practiced in embracing others the way that Jesus did. Don't point fingers, don't judge, accept. Accept them as Jesus accepts us, even with our failures, with our imperfections. You want to be accepted, so do many people in the world. In short, let us always remember Father Peter Clever and ask him in the grace and the presence of God to pray for us. Please join me. We pray for Pope Francis and all church leaders we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are God. For those suffering in any way, physical or otherwise, may they find consolation in Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all emergency and frontline workers who continue to help us without prejudice, but in fulfilling that beautiful ministry that God has called them to, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those in our daily TV Mass community who are dedicated to the care of the sick, May they receive the grace to continue their ministry of compassion and caring with hope and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mary's continued embrace and protection of each one of us. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace the, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou, thou amongst women. women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of the, 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 our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. With humble spirit, so by your love and sacrifice in your sight this day, we please to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away many and cleanse me from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our benefit of all of us in the church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Peter Clever, so that as you brought him, to, as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter Claver, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's pause for a moment and think of someone you wish to be at peace with and ask for that courage to do so. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Clever, that we may persevere in integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Being an immigrant to this beautiful country, I have learned that I'm so happy that we have so many different cultures in our country, and I get to see them on a regular basis, whether it's in the parish, walking in the park, going for a walk. It's so, so wonderful to see and how much we are able to live in unity and communion with one another because we're not pointing fingers. I'm not pointing fingers, and, 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 and I haven't had anybody point them to me too. What a wonderful feeling that is. And you know what? In a couple of days, we're going to remember 9-11 which was a lot of finger pointing at that time and a lot of hurt. And I'm hoping that we keep on learning from one another to never let this happen again, not to point fingers, but to live in community and to live in peace with others because life is too short. It's too short to live in the argument and division and so on. May whatever you do be always focused in our Lord Jesus Christ and in his great peace because life is too short. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve one another in the name of Jesus. Thanks Amen. be to God. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. Forgive our sins as we forgive. You taught us, Lord, to pray. But you alone can grant us grace to live the words we sing. How can your pardon reach and bless thee? Forgive.